Monaco, one of the wealthiest and smallest countries in the world, is taking an extraordinary step to overcome its biggest challenge, space. With only two square kilometers of land and a population of over 36,000 people, this tiny principality is expanding into the Mediterranean Sea in an unprecedented $2 billion project. Reclaiming six hectares of land, Monaco is creating a new district that promises to blend cutting-edge luxury with innovative sustainability measures. From eco-friendly construction to advanced marine preservation, this project is set to redefine the concept of sustainable urban expansion. But with Monaco already packed to the brim, can this ambitious project truly solve the space crisis while preserving its status as an elite destination? In 1861, Monaco faced a pivotal moment when it ceded 90% of its land to France through the Franco-Monegasque Treaty, gaining financial compensation and independence. This drastic reduction confined the principality to just over two square kilometers, creating a significant geographical dilemma with limited room for growth. The constraints imposed by this small territory have continually pushed Monaco to explore innovative solutions to expand its landmass. One of the most striking efforts to address this issue came through a series of ambitious land reclamation projects. From the early 20th century, Monaco has been extending its borders into the sea, an audacious approach that has become synonymous with the country's growth strategy. Each of these projects aimed to accommodate Monaco's burgeoning population and growing demand for luxury real estate. The most significant early example of this was the Fonlier District, constructed in the 1970s, which added 22 hectares of prime land to Monaco's limited terrain. However, even Fonlier could not fully alleviate the pressure on Monaco's ever-growing population, which has risen to over 36,000 people packed into this densely populated microstate. With real estate prices skyrocketing and demand for luxury properties far outpacing supply, Monaco needed a solution. This led to the launch of an unprecedented $2 billion expansion into the Mediterranean Sea, known as Maraterra, a project aimed at reclaiming six hectares of land. This new land reclamation project represents more than just a solution to Monaco's space constraints. It reflects the principality's commitment to sustainable development. Known for its reputation as a playground for the rich, Monaco now faces the challenge of balancing luxury with environmental responsibility. In this ambitious venture, cutting-edge eco-friendly technologies have been employed to ensure that the development not only provides world-class living spaces, but also contributes to the preservation of marine life and ecosystems. As this new district begins to take shape, the question remains, what hidden feats make Mara Terra stand out? And how did Monaco overcome the extraordinary challenges to bring it to life? In just a moment, we'll dive into one of the most fascinating feats of engineering that made this project possible, including how 10,000-ton concrete caissons were floated into place to form the very foundation of this new district. But first, how would you like to watch our videos ad-free for just $2 a month? Or get access to exclusive content for $10? For $17, you can pitch topics and get your name in the credits. Join our premium community at patreon.com slash the impossible build. And if you're just here for something free, grab our US military billion dollar blunders video at the impossible build.org slash billion dollar blunders. Both links are in the description below. The process of land reclamation began by creating a solid foundation in the sea. Over 750,000 tons of sand were brought in to consolidate the base of the new district. To form a secure barrier, 18 colossal reinforced concrete caissons, each weighing approximately 10,000 tons, were floated into place. These caissons were crucial in shaping the perimeter of the new land. This immense task was carefully executed using state-of-the-art maritime engineering, ensuring precision and minimizing the impact on the surrounding marine environment. The caissons were designed with eco-consciousness in mind, including hollow sections that provide homes for marine life. 
helping to preserve and encourage biodiversity in the area. The foundations of Maraterra also involved laying over 1.5 million tons of gravel, meticulously positioned on the seabed to create a level base. This gravel foundation was vital in ensuring the stability of the construction and allowed the caissons to be placed with pinpoint accuracy, following the natural underwater currents. This approach not only provided a solid base for the new structures, but also minimized disturbances to the existing marine ecosystem, a priority throughout the project. With the caissons securely in place, the next step was to drain the enclosed area of seawater. Once dry, the space was filled with quarry materials to create a stable base on which the buildings could be constructed. This process was completed ahead of schedule, showcasing the efficiency of the construction teams involved. The speed and precision of the work are particularly notable given the complexity of building on reclaimed land. The use of advanced engineering techniques and meticulous planning ensured that the project remained on track, even with the challenges posed by the global pandemic. Maratera's commitment to sustainability is evident in every aspect of its construction. The project incorporates groundbreaking green technologies, aligning with Monaco's goal of becoming carbon neutral by 2050. One of the key sustainable features of the district is its energy system which utilizes a thalasso thermal loop to heat and cool buildings. This system harnesses the thermal energy of seawater, transforming it into a source of heating and air conditioning for the entire development. The water is pumped into the system, passed through heat pumps, and then returned to the sea without any harmful effects on marine life. This innovative approach reduces the carbon footprint of the district significantly and is expected to cut Monaco's greenhouse gas emissions by 7%. Another highlight of Maratera's green design is its extensive use of solar energy. Approximately 9,000 square meters of solar panels will be installed throughout the district, providing a significant portion of the energy required for both residential and commercial buildings. Additionally, the district will implement rainwater harvesting systems to collect water for irrigating the vast green spaces that will be a hallmark of Maratera. These measures not only reduce reliance on traditional energy sources, but also help conserve water, an essential resource in the Mediterranean climate. Green spaces are integral to the design of Maratera. Nearly half of the new neighborhood will be dedicated to parks, gardens, and pedestrian areas. Over 800 trees will be planted, creating a lush environment that contrasts beautifully with the sleek, modern architecture. These green areas are not merely decorative, but also designed to foster biodiversity. Bird nests, insect hotels, and other wildlife habitats will be incorporated into the landscaping, encouraging local fauna to thrive in the heart of the city. The parkland will feature native Mediterranean species, carefully chosen to suit the local climate and create a serene atmosphere for residents and visitors alike. One of the most striking features of Maratera is its design philosophy, which seamlessly blends luxury with environmental responsibility. The architecture is modern and elegant, with buildings featuring large bay windows to maximize natural light and offer stunning views of the Mediterranean. The district will include 110 apartments, 10 villas, and several townhouses, all designed to the highest standards of luxury. Many of the residences will have private gardens, swimming pools, and other amenities, ensuring that Maratera remains a highly desirable address for Monaco's elite. Beyond the residential areas, Maratera will offer a variety of public spaces designed to enhance the quality of life for both residents and visitors. A new marina, known as Petit Portier, will accommodate up to 18 yachts and will be surrounded by shops, restaurants, and cultural attractions. The marina is expected to become a vibrant hub of activity, drawing people to the waterfront to enjoy the Mediterranean lifestyle. Additionally, the district will feature a series of promenades, including the Prince Jacques Promenade, which will provide a scenic route along the coastline and connect to other parts of Monaco. These pedestrian areas will be largely car-free, making Maratera a peaceful and eco-friendly place to live and visit. Despite the progress made so far, the project has not been without its challenges. 
Building on reclaimed land presents numerous technical difficulties, particularly in ensuring the stability of the structures and protecting the marine environment. One of the most significant hurdles was the need to relocate protected species, including 510 square meters of Posidonia oceanica, a vital seagrass species that plays a crucial role in the local ecosystem. This delicate operation involved transplanting the seagrass to a new location where it could continue to thrive. The project also required the construction of artificial reefs to provide new habitats for marine life displaced by the development. These efforts demonstrate the project's commitment to minimizing its environmental impact, even in the face of such a large-scale undertaking. Expected to be completed in 2025, Moraterra represents a bold vision for Monaco's future by expanding the Principality's territory and creating a new district that prioritizes sustainability and luxury, Moraterra sets a new standard for urban development in the 21st century. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on notifications so you never miss out.